I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss domain and range of parent functions. Let us start with a linear function f of x equals to x. Now f of x equals to x represents a line. So let me sketch this here and then we will write domain and range of this function. It is a straight line which goes through origin and diagonally bisects the coordinate plane into two halves. As you can see, domain, the set of input elements or all the inputs is all real numbers. We can write domain as d of x equals to within curly brackets x belongs to real numbers brackets close these curly brackets indicate set of and this is set of all the values of x where x belongs to real numbers so that is our x-axis and f of x is on the y-axis let me write y for the time being so that is the linear functions domain range is all permitted values for output and in this case y belongs to real numbers right so there are no restrictions now let us consider another parent function which is f of x equals to x square it is represented by a parabola right now on the coordinate axis we can draw this function as a parabola with even symmetry going through origin now here also we find that the domain is set of all real numbers so we can write domain for this function also as x belongs to real numbers however range is restricted now range is y belongs to real numbers but y is greater than or equal to 0 right this straight line indicates a condition so we will read this range as set of real numbers y belongs to real numbers so that or such that y is greater than or equal to 0 so in this case domain is not restricted you can have any value for x but the output is restricted it is non-negative right so now let me take another polynomial x cube x cube has no restrictions on domain just as f of x equals to x square so let me write down the function first it is f of x equals to x cube if you draw this function it will look like this now here what you notice is that domain is set of real numbers as in the previous two functions and range is also set of all real numbers so y also belongs to all real numbers now next parent function for us is absolute x f of x equals to absolute x now absolute x is a function which looks like this it's so a line y equals to x in the first quadrant but line y equals to minus x in the second quadrant right so that is how the function looks like as you can see domain here is not restricted it is set of all real numbers but the range is restricted just as f of x equals to x square or the quadratic function absolute function has a range which is y belongs to real numbers but y is greater than or equal to 0 right now in all these cases we saw that the function is continuous and therefore and it's connected by a line maybe curved or straight so there is no restriction in the domain now we will see some functions where there is restriction in domain. So now let me take example of a reciprocal function. Reciprocal function is 
f of x equals to, let me write in a different thing, f of x equals to 1 over x. Now, as you can see, x is in the denominator and x cannot be 0 since you cannot divide by 0, right? So, there is a restriction. Domain is all real numbers, but it cannot be 0. If you sketch this function, it kind of looks like this. It has a vertical asymptote, which is x equals to 0, and a horizontal asymptote, which is y equals to 0. But the value of x can never be equal to 0. So here, there is a restriction in domain, and we write domain of this function is equal to set of all values of x, where x belongs to real numbers, but x is not equal to 0. Similarly, you will note that range is also not equal to 0. x-axis is horizontal asymptote for the given function. So we write range as set of y values, where y belongs to real numbers, but y is not equal to 0. Now we will consider another parent function, which is f of x equals to square root of x. Now square root of x, within square root we cannot have negative numbers since square root of negative numbers is imaginary, right? So if you sketch this function, you will get a graph like this. Now here you can clearly see that domain is restricted and range is also restricted. In fact, this is one of those parent functions which is most restricted. Here x belongs to real numbers, but x is greater than or equal to 0. It is non-negative. Same is the case with the range. Range y belongs to real numbers, but y is greater than or equal to 0. In fact, this function is only there in quadrant 1. Now let's take an example of trigonometric function which is f of x equals to sine x. Well cosine x is like sine x shifted by 90 degrees. So we will always consider sine x as our parent function but it also represents cosine x. You know it can be drawn like this. and goes on. So all both sides, right? So like this. So here we know that the domain is not restricted. Domain of sine x is x belongs to real numbers. However, range is restricted. Y, I mean range, y is y belongs to real numbers, but value of y is between plus and minus 1, right? It is greater than or equal to minus 1 and less than or equal to plus 1. Since sine x can have a maximum value of 1 and a minimum of minus 1. So that is how sine function is restricted. Let me take one more function which is an exponential function. We'll say f of x equals to 2 to the power of x. Now sketch the graph of this. It look like something like this. always increasing. If x approaches minus infinity, the function approaches 0, but it is never 0, right? Now here, we can say that the domain d of x is equals to x belongs to real numbers. There is no restriction on the domain. However, on the range, there is a restriction. As you can see, range is equals to y belongs to real numbers, but y is always greater than 0, right? It is not even equal to 0. It is greater than 0. So with this, we come to an end of list of 8 important parent functions. So you can see from here that most of the parent functions have no restrictions on their domain. In fact, only reciprocal function and the square root function are restricted in their domain. In the reciprocal function, domain cannot be 0 and in the square root function, it is greater than or equal to 0. However, 
functions like x square absolute x square root x sin x and exponential function are restricted on their range range for most of these functions is greater than equal to 0 it's greater than equal to 0 for x square for absolute x and square root x for reciprocal function range cannot be 0 and for exponential function range is always greater than 0 I hope this video helps you to capture domain and range of the parent functions and this will help you to figure out domain and range of any parent function or combination of these functions this is a very important video I like you to go through it and understand the concept of domain and range. Thank you and all the best.